Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Anchor Advice. This is going to be a Pisces reading from October 26th to October 30th. And there is hundreds and millions of Pisces out there, so this is not going to be every single Pisces story, okay? Also, feel free to swap around the energies. I could always be talking to a cross-watcher or someone that you're dealing with. And there's really no such thing as gender and tarot, so you guys can also swap around the gender as well. And we're also going to get messages from your person, and we're also going to um, get a closing oracle, and then, of course, um, clarifiers. Okay, Pisces, so you might have cleared up the communication um, or even cleared up your mindset and learned some hard lessons. And now you're learning how to manifest because you become strong and independent within yourself, Pisces. Uh, with the Page of Swords, you could be watching somebody here um, that you're separated from that you see as valuable or vice versa. Um, they see you as very important and therefore they're watching you. Here we have the Page of Cups. <clears throat> so somebody could be reaching out to somebody else um, because they're at a distance from them. With the Five of Pentacles, though, and the um, Nine of Wands, I feel like it's more of a wanting, um, not an actually doing, because there's a lot of insecurities involved. Yeah, Ace of Wands, they're hesitant on having this new beginning with you, Pisces. Um, it could be due to very harsh words were said, but... With the chariot card, and also someone could be at a distance. Again, someone could be, for instance, in another town, or just the communication is distant here. Yeah, with the moon card, things are not what they seem, and then that's the Pisces card as well. I feel like there's a lot of emotions that someone is holding on to that they're not really opening up about. Uh, we have the Ace of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, and Two of Swords. Exactly. So, and Five of Wands. So, I feel like someone is kind of mentally conflicted on whether or not to show. Like, you know, they're confused on whether or not to show their real emotions. Um, but with the Three of Pentacles, Four of Wands, I feel like this person, whoever resonates more with the Queen of Wands, very nurturing, very down-to-earth, very giving, um, that person is hesitant on on opening up you know but with the eight of wands here at the bottom of the deck i feel like this person is at a crossroads where they do want to communicate with you but somebody was just very and i keep getting this card very inconsistent in the past they were not willing to commit and so although you guys are happy together and they're very passionate about coming forward there's also a lot of hesitation so pisces october 26th to the 30th what is the yeah, somebody's watching somebody uh, else, and they feel like that person is successful, stable, they're happy with everything that they want. Um, let's see. Yeah, and therefore, that's kind of why uh, somebody is hesitant on coming forward, because someone now loves themselves, and when they were, I guess, lonely and didn't love themselves, they always came back. But now that this person recognized their worth, they love themselves, they're successful, they have everything that they're wishing for. Now someone is like, how do I get this person back? And so here we have the chariot card. You could be dealing with the cancer, the ace of swords. Um, someone is now realizing, like, I really want to be with this person. And so this is kind of what they're focusing on. I feel like they're not really focusing on anything else other than this relationship. Yeah. You could be um, distant from somebody that's very... Um, Free-spirited, very confident. Yeah, so with the Six of Cups here, I feel like someone is at a distance from this person and they're now just thinking about them, whether this is you or them. Let's see. Yeah, it could also be a Taurus. But I feel like someone is learning lessons about a karmic situation. Yeah, there was a lot of arguments due to insecurities. So someone is now meant to be conflicted about moving forward and giving this offer of love uh, just because they're at a distance. They feel like not good enough for some reason. Um, can I have another card for the Page of Cups here? Yeah, so now that someone sees someone as worth it, they really do want to reach out and say some sort of apology here. Um, there is still love here, even though you guys are at a distance. And then we have the Emperor card as well here. So you could also be dealing with the father of some sort. Let me see. With the musician card, page of wands, and nine of wands. See, someone really does want a message. Some of you guys may be getting a message. But there's a lot of hesitation and insecurities due to someone kind of starting to value themselves more. So now because someone values themselves, 
Someone feels like they have to come in, very sweet, but at the same time, they're walking on thin ice because they're afraid of getting rejected. Um, yeah, Seven of Pentacles. This person doesn't want to repeat the past. Um, yes, they are at a distance from you, Pisces, uh, whether this is you or them. Uh, you could also be dealing with an Aries or, let me check. Some of this could be like a manager at work as well, but with the Strength card, there's just so many insecurities over getting rejected that the other person is afraid to approach the other one. Next card out, Eight of Swords. So I feel like, let me, one more card, Eight of Swords. That week, yes. Okay, Ten of Swords. So I feel like in eight days, this person is going to end um, their insecurities and come forward. But with the strength card, uh, it has a lot to do with someone being very stable, very nurturing, very down to earth. So then they can have this new opportunity. Um, let's see, there was a card on the floor. Yeah, seven of swords upside down. Someone is just done being not honest. Um, let me check this, this deck. So they want a brand new opportunity. They want to talk about how they've changed. Yeah, five of swords, how they cut off people. But they feel like you're going to cut them off. And that's why they're stressing out. But they really do want to speak their truth in regards to uh, making things right with you. So what's the most likely outcome for Pisces, October 26th to the 30th? Two of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. So I honestly feel like you're going to reconcile with somebody. Um, they really do want to prove it to you. But with the Seven of Wands at the bottom of the deck, somebody's very guarded. Um... Yeah, and holding back. Yeah, okay. It's just because I feel like someone is just paranoid about other people being involved. Just because it's not moving fast. But honestly, it looks like this person is focusing on work and on saving money. But, um, and so that... Hold on, let me check. Is this a court case as well? King of Swords. No, so yeah, this person is just uh, going to talk to you about opening up here. They're going to speak their truth. Um, I was just making sure it wasn't like some sort of court case, but I feel like the toxicity is that someone is uh, kind of holding back, and but it's all swords here. I mean, you guys have love for each other on the female side. Uh, on the masculine side, I feel like this person just wants to come forward and be more honest with you. Um, let's see. So Pisces, October 26th to the 30th. One more shuffle. Pisces, October 26th to the 30th. Yeah, we will be together again. So I feel like this person, this is more of a reconciliation to talk. Not really a reconciliation to end up together like in a relationship. I feel like it's just someone um, is insecure about coming forward. Yeah, you speak to me through music. I feel like someone wants to be civil with you. Yeah, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. The timing just wasn't right. I love you unconditionally. I know I was a distraction from your pain. So this person's going to come say sorry to Pisces or vice versa. Yeah, so many things remind me of you. So this person's going to come say sorry. Next card out, Pisces. I knew exactly what I was doing. Yeah, I feel like this person's going to apologize for taking advantage of you, uh, kind of loving them unconditionally. Um, I know I messed up everything, but I feel like this person kind of has no hope um, to move this forward. Yeah, I bury myself in work to forget you. I hide behind material things. So let's see. Pisces, October 26th to the 30th. Yeah, decide to be happy now. So if this person does come back... Um, I would recommend not arguing with them uh, due to the past mistakes. Uh, I feel like this person, it's kind of a lot for them just to admit, you know, that they were wrong and that they were taking advantage and that they're sorry. So Pisces, October 26th to the 30th, one more shuffle. Yeah, self-respect. So you um, learning how, admit the truth and act uh, accordingly. Uh, admit the truth to yourself and act accordingly and then self-respect. You know, somebody had this lack of boundaries in the past. You know, honestly, if you overgive in a relationship and you don't see your worth, the other person isn't. You know, it's kind of like if you allow yourself to be a doormat, then people will walk all over you. So Pisces, October 26th to the 30th. Yeah, your home is protected by angels. Okay, so, and honestly, I like this little prayer. It says, thank you for watching over my home and its inhabitants. 
I ask that you post guardian angels at each window and door, ensuring its security. Thank you for guiding my finances so that I can easily afford to pay my rent, mortgage, or taxes. So, you know, it could be like somebody has a home here um, and that home is reminding them of you or vice versa. Yeah, new beginnings and a fresh start. On the floor, we have explore your options. So, and then new beginnings... Um, and make a commitment here. So it's saying here to explore your options, whether you choose to get with this person or not. I honestly feel like this person is going to come in and apologize. But I don't see love on the masculine side point um, of you. I just see with the emperor, this person is learning to own up to their mistakes and at least admit it. Yeah, prayer will help this situation and eternal love. So there is love all around you, even if you choose not to get with this person. Um, and if you're kind of not wanting to move on, it's saying here to explore your options and just kind of pray on it. And if it's meant to be, it will come back. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and close it off here. If this helped you guys out in any way, you guys are more than welcome to like, share, leave a comment and subscribe. Much love. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.